and it doesn't show what's in their hearts. They all came with this attitude that I'm, gonna, I'm the one, I'm gonna be the high priest. It's finally happened. <laughs> Demotion for Aaron, promotion for me. And they all came up going, I hope it's me, I hope it's me, I hope it's me, I hope it's me. Right? Aaron was not part of that mixture. At the end of this whole thing, when the plague, right, we spoke about how these thoughts tend to, it wants to get its little tentacles into other people, right? And a plague happened, and thinking this was about speaking badly about others, I think we kind of know what plague it probably was. We spoke about leprosy and how that comes from evil thoughts and evil speaking. So I believe it was leprosy. So what happens? Aaron takes the, does the exact same thing in that moment. Takes a censer, put incense in it. The same thing that everybody else did and they were consumed. Except Aaron didn't do it to elevate himself. He took it and stood between the living and the dead and made atonement for them. And that's what the Lord received and his rod blossomed. For all these screw-ups that were just consumed by the Lord, because they were had pride in their heart, and they brought, is it me, Lord? Is it me, Lord? And then everybody else was all upset about it. The whole congregation and the plague started to permeate. Do you understand that? This started to permeate to everybody. And Aaron, the one that was hated. The one that it all started with him because it all was a start that he's elevating himself and he needs to be slammed down. He's the one that went right in the middle of this thing and made atonement for all of those. That is the nature of God. Yes. And he's bringing us all to that place. Yes. Um, Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem.